Make sure your heater's ready for the cold weather. Get a system checkup today for only $49. And get $50 in Premier Bucks to be used towards your next repair. Premier Heating and Air offers free second opinions. So call today and experience the Premier difference. Log on to DublinPremierIsHere.com or call 300-2633. Premier Heating and Air is a locally owned and operated company. Certain restrictions may apply. Specials cannot be combined with other offers. Offer ends 11-30-24. Welcome to the Coaches Show. I'm here with head coach and athletic director of Dublin High School, Roger Holmes. Coach, uh, coming off a 50 to 33 victory over Dodge County Friday night over in Eastman, Georgia, uh, for a region championship. Uh, we we played for the region championship over there that night. Uh, great victory by your football team. I believe it's the 19th region championship uh, that Dublin High Schools had. Uh, I believe it's the 10th region championship since you've been here at Dublin High School. A credit to uh, your players that you've had uh, through the years. Yes, sir. Uh, and a credit to this football team uh, Friday night to uh, play from behind a good bit of the football game, something we hadn't done this year. And it's a testament, I think, to the will and the strength, the endurance of, of what these young men did Friday night. Uh, I'm going to go over a few of the stats that I like to do. I like to call some of these kids names. Uh, I don't know how he remembers all these stats. I, I, from week I like to. Week. to <laughs> I no do. notes here now. No notes. I, 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 I do enjoy it. It's one of the reasons. You got a I'm, teleprompter. One, <laughs> one of the reasons I enjoy doing the show is uh, it, is is calling these kids names. Yes, you sir. know that's kind of that's what we're in the business to do. Uh, Zay Bostic, our leading ground gainer the other night with 112 yards. Uh, Willie Batts, 96 yards. Uh, Trav Bostic, 86 yards. Micah O'Neill, 78 yards. And, and uh, as a Tay Walker, I'm telling you, three carries for 31 yards that were some very big runs mm -hmm. on his part, if I might say. Uh, over 400 yards rushing for your Dublin football team Friday night on, uh, I think, 56 carries. Uh, those guys have done it all year for us. We had to count on for them Friday night again. Uh, I think some of the big things that, that impressed me was we held the ball for uh, almost 19 minutes of the football game, uh, twice as much as they did. Uh, we stopped Dodge County on third down. I think they were maybe zero for seven on third down and maybe two for four on fourth down. And your double and Irish, in order for them to hold that football was five of eight on third down. Uh, those were some of the offensive things that we did defensively. I mean, you know, I'll let you get I'll let you get into that for what we did. Well, I think number one, I want to congratulate our young men uh, on finishing strong, uh, getting ready to go into the playoffs uh, now with the region championship, uh, a 10-0 season. Those are hard to come by. I think it's only the fifth in the history of Dublin High School football which they're hard, it's hard to do. And when you look and think that Dublin's played 103 seasons of football to be only five times that you've had a 10-0 season, says a lot. You know, this group, nobody can ever do better nope. than this group did during the regular season. And, uh, you know, Dodge came out ready to play, and we knew they would. It's a very hard place to go play. Terribly hard. Uh, there. Always has been. They're, they're known for football. You know, and they've got a lot of pride in their place. And they came ready to play and jumped on us early. I thought the fact that our – and we threw an interception on our first series on the third play of the game, gave them the ball at midfield. The next drive, we moved the football, did some things well, and got down there and, and uh, turned it over again on a fumble. All right, just so things, like <clears throat> things that could take you out of your game – our young men just stayed the course and continued to do <clears throat> what we do. And I felt as the game went on, the physicality of pounding the football wore Dodge County down uh, up front. 
Uh, we started doing a few things formation-wise, which started creating them some issues. Uh, and as they adjusted, we adjusted and, you know, kind of got in that chess match and felt like maybe we were a step ahead of them on some of the things, how they were trying to adjust. Uh, Third quarter-wise, I think there were some things maybe possibly that the linemen had changed, some assignments or whatnot, because Dublin really, really, I mean, I think we scored three or four times in the third quarter, and that's where we exerted our will on these guys. Well, we did make have to make some halftime adjustments. They, they've been a three-five football team for the most part. They came out in an even front, but even although they were in an even front, they were still making another adjustment that was not the norm. How anybody would play that defense. Really good linebackers. Yeah, they run the football well. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, and I. Uh, their two D tackles inside played pretty solid for them all night, but formation kind of got them where we wanted them. And, right. and then Mike O'Neill, again, with his ability and understanding of our offense, you know, a lot of times we were calling two plays and he was choosing which of the two based off the information we'd given him on what to choose. So. I think Micah, <coughs> My, Micah might have busted the catapult for you that night when he broke off on that long run, that 68-yard touchdown run he had. I don't know. I'll have to talk to Coach Riley and see who had the highest. But I think mean, Micah might have had the catapult that night. He got out on that midline. That was we. I don't think we ran midline maybe, but twice ran the veer several times. But uh, you know the the play of the game that turned the game around, and he's going to be our player of the week because he played very very well. Uh, Jordan Tobridge on the kickoff return after we took the lead. Okay. We kick off. He's sprinting downfield, makes a hit, mm -hmm. creates a fumble. We recovered the fumble off of the kickoff, got back in, scored points. Uh, that was that was huge. You know, one mistake I think that we made, you know, I felt like we won the overall kicking game battle. However, uh, we chose to leave our block team on the field. We knew that we knew their fake punt. We had adjusted right. to it. One of the kids went to sleep a little bit and adjusted late. You know, but to to me, and I, I've got to clarify this one way or the other. I did call and talk to one officials association prior to our game because the way we understand the rule, when you have a play that does not involve mandatory five numbers, five fifty okay. through seventy nine, five lineman numbers. When they're not on the field, you're not allowed to shift and move and make somebody eligible. All right. <clears throat> and what they did, number twenty was in the game at guard. Twelve had been the guy that had been doing it. So we saw the guy there, we knew they were gonna fake it. And we were confident our kids would adjust the way they were supposed to. But we talked with the officials before the game. They stepped the two guys off, ran them out wide, and put them off the line of scrimmage to make that guy eligible. To me, the way I understand the rule and the other officials association I spoke with, that would be an illegal play. Illegal play. And, they, you know, if people saw me question the official, that's what it was about. Uh, because we had gone over that in our pregame conversation with the officials. There was some question there. It didn't look real bad heated. But <laughs> no. And, you know, I mean, he told me that they had discussed it as their association before the game started after we brought it up, and they didn't think that that was the rule. So I don't know, but that uh, I'd hurt us that I didn't go into a punt safe right. situation. That was a bad decision and a big one of their fourth down conversions right there but uh you Jordan, know Jordan Tobridge though mm -hmm. did come up big for us on he that had two hit. or three big hits uh he uh, created that fumble uh he's been a solid player that's gotten all better for us all year in there at Mike linebacker you know we we didn't do a great job obviously in the secondary uh sometimes you don't have a great night they've they caught and everything you that the, 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 the kid I thought, them, I thought their quarterback I mean, threw the ball into right spots. Receivers did a good job. A couple of the balls, like you said, we were there. But it's still some fundamental things that we're going to use this week and, and certainly try to continue to get better as we head into the playoffs. But, Shucks, it's probably a good time to uh, – I, I want to recognize Dublin Middle School. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay, Dublin Middle School. 
uh, went to feeds, Swainsboro the other night. That's what feeds and, our program. And brought home the middle school championship uh, in, a, in a fine way. Actually, we blocked two punts and scooped and scored. We had an interception return for a touchdown. Our uh, offense had a two-point conversion. So at the end of the night, congratulations nice to everybody with Dublin Middle Absolutely. School and their win. And then our uh, JV football team finished up their regular season uh, last week going to uh, Washington County, right. getting a win. So our JV football team finished the season undefeated. And obviously our varsity football team finished the regular season undefeated. So it's been a great year for Dublin football. Uh, the future looks bright. Right, and we've got we've got uh, got some more games ahead that uh, well, at least one more coming ahead that we'll talk about at a later time. Coach, I think it'd be a good time to take a break, have a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back with some Dublin football. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wind Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Moen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. Georgia Pools is now your authorized rec tech dealer. Summer's here and the temperature's rising, so make a big splash with friends and family now with a pool from Georgia Pools. Or relax in a luxurious hot tub or sauna. No down payments and easy financing. Don't wait a year for your pool. Georgia Pools has the manpower to get the job done. Georgia Pools has a large selection of pool chemicals and accessories. Come see our selection of Yeti coolers, tumblers, cups, and more. Call Georgia Pools today at 478-275-3607 or come by and see us at 1201 Hillcrest Parkway in Dublin. Georgia Pools, your authorized rec tech dealer. We have natural gas all over town. Get yourself a natural gas tank with water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. That's a luxury. We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, City of Dublin Natural Gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah. Call your, your gas guys. At 478-277-5048. Hi, I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. We're growing to meet your needs. We now have locations in Dublin, Georgia and in Eastman, Georgia. You can find us at 371 Georgia Highway 338 in Dublin, phone number 478-676-2662 or in Eastman, Georgia at 234 Main Street, phone number 478-559-1280. We look forward to serving all your flooring and construction needs. Okay, Coach, and we're back. When you score 50 points, there's going to be a lot of highlights to show. We hope so. That's for sure. We're, uh, this is our opening drive. Uh, we run the triple option right here in Zay Bostic. 
hits the same good read out of our quarterback right there and a good block out of our wing back. Zay gets out, makes a nice run. There's your uh, 15, uh, the good linebacker. Uh, Duke Johnson. Duke Johnson, Alabama commit, running it down from behind. This is Trav Bostic running a little power sweep. Good cut. He's gotten he's gotten tougher yes. as his years gone on as a sophomore. You can tell it. See right here, he drops the shoulder and makes a heck of a cut right there and gets in the end zone. Well, earlier, young, earlier in the year, he would try to take that outside. Yeah, young man's got a, got a bright future. You know, I think he's uh, he's a competitor that wants to win. Uh, that was our first touchdown. Here's uh, them trying to run them. They ran a few sneaky plays the other night, this being one of them. Quarterback going in motion, trying to run the uh, buck sweep to the outside. I thought our defensive end played that really, really well. I love it out there. Uh, that was Chapman on Chapman. that side. You know, Here's a good look at our middle linebacker, who was our player of the game, number 12, doing a good job of chasing inside out making a good tackle right there on that play. I thought Chapman and Lovett both had good games. Oh, they did. Again. They did. Defensive end play was really, really good. Uh, here's Willie Bats. I get into the outside edge. You can see right here where we were able to create them a little bit of confusion with our formations. They're having trouble getting their people where they want them to be. Uh, and we found a, found a honey hole over there and, and kept going to it. I think you were able to get more hats on their defenders there. Correct. Another uh, buck sweep. You know, buck sweep is a staple play in the wing T offense, but one we haven't ran a great deal this year. Uh, but the other night it paid it paid major dividends. There's uh, Bostic again on the triple option, and this was a slight adjustment that we made at halftime uh, on our blocking scheme that allowed that play to hit. You know, our uh, kicker right here, had a, uh, Ethan Spivey, had a phenomenal night, the best night he's had all year on placement of his kickoffs. Uh, it was just huge, the plays that were made uh, where, where he's putting the ball where we want it. And that's something that we've struggled with a little bit this year. And uh, But this was the kickoff we were talking about right after uh, – we had finally taken the lead, and there's that Mike linebacker, number 12, sprinting right down the middle of the field, and uh, hits the guy, wraps him up, rips the football out, and that was a huge, huge uh, momentum boost for the Irish right there in the special teams. I think we scored three times in almost three minutes. This was almost disaster. Uh, we fumbled the dead gun snap, but Micah uh, keeps his composure, scoops it, and then the weight room gets him in the end zone. And a lot of squats and a lot of power right. cleans made that happen, that's for sure. Well, good blocking up front, too. There was no penetration by them. He was able to pick the ball up. Yes, sir. A heck of a rundown play right here. Chapman, uh, we Love brought it. a little stunt off the edge and had him, gave him an opportunity to slant a little bit, and they pulled the tackle, and there he is Chapman. creating the tackle for a nice loss. Chapman and Lovett, both there. Both there, yes, sir. I called this Chapman's is, uh, name a lot Friday night. One of the few times we ran the midline all night, and uh, Micah made a good decision right here. A heck of a block by our sophomore right tackle who had a heck of a game for us. Uh, the other night, and Micah hit the seam and ran off and left him right there, and that might have been a dagger at that point. I think that may have put us up three scores. Right. I thought the defense played a really, really good game. It, although Dodge scored 33 points, 
uh, we were in the right place at the right time. For the most part, we missed two or three tackles the other night. We had people where they had to be to make the plays. We didn't make the tackle. Well, you can turn the games on on Saturday and turn games on on Sunday. You're not going to make every tackle. And uh, however, this is a huge hit by Zante Walker. Uh, we kind of got some mojo going right now. Our kids are playing with the confidence and physicality. There's a play that Micah made a decision, made a check off. Uh, Runs right by Duke Johnson right there also. A heck of a quick run right up the middle. Thought this was a huge surge by our offensive line. We're just running a quarterback sneak right here. Push and him, they, and push him back know, in the end zone. He, he ended up four or five yards deep in the end zone. So, heck of a heck of a job out of them at that point. This is another checkoff. We've got a break right here. We've actually fumbled this football before we crossed the goal line. We hung the ball right there. You see my guard coming across. We hit it on his hip. But Willie had the understanding to know that he had to get back on it before it got out of the back of the end zone. Heck of a play right here by another sophomore, uh, outside linebacker, coming off the edge right here, getting a sack for us. Uh, both two sophomores, 17 and 44, were both in there uh, on that sack. and That's huge when you start this time of the year. Those sophomores have grown up a lot. They start doing some good things for you. And that comes through practice every week on the field. Every coach. week. You just keep trying to get better every week. Here we go with the triple option again. And uh, actually, I guess that was back in the beginning. So that's the highlights we had. Uh, great, great night of football. We'll come back and talk about what we got going on this week with an open date week leading into the playoffs. We'll be back with some more Dublin football. Hey, I'm Perry at Williamson's Bakery. For 60 years, my family's bakery has supported area athletic programs. And I would like to personally thank you for supporting us. And I'd also like to say, go Irish, go Falcons, go Raiders, and go Crusaders. Come in today for all your bread needs, your pies, your donuts, and all your birthday cakes. If you'd like to do a special order, give us a call at 272-3344. Check us out on Facebook as well. So if you need a special order for a tailgate, give us a call the day before. We'd love to take care of you. So call or come by today. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, or you can call us at 478-272-3344, or you can catch us on Facebook. Williamson's Bakery, waking and bacon since 1965. Friendly Gus says, what you need for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Come by and get a three-piece combo, two-piece pork chop combo, or a two-piece white meat special, each for just $7.49. All combos come with tater logs and a drink. You can also get a family meal deal, eight pieces of chicken, tater logs, rolls, all for just $18.99. Come by in the morning, check out our breakfast. Sausage biscuit patties are just 99 cents. Steak biscuits, two for $6. We have these specials in so much more, so come by and enjoy Friendly Gus today. Friendly Gus, serving Middle Georgia for over 100 years. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Visit your local Gravely dealer today. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We're your full line dealer for Gravely Lawnmower sales and service. It's game time, and Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales is geared up and ready for a doggone good season. Wayne Kemp has the lineup that can't be beat. From economy and sports cars to work trucks and family vehicles, Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales is where teamwork will make the dream work. 
So come on in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly sales staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin. Call 478-275-2010 or log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales for a doggone good deal. We're back. Coach, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap things up in our final session here uh, today. More Dublin football to come. Uh, I'm telling you, I, I wish kind of we knew who we were going to play right now. Uh, back in the old days, you had your brackets. The brackets were pretty, mer pretty much set. Uh, your football team is off this week, which is a good thing. Uh, you can work on some different things. Uh, a lot of football to be played Friday night. Uh, a lot of games over the state that are going to affect uh, – the new, the new thing, the power rankings. Yeah, and you it's, know, and, and uh, we don't know who we're going to play yet. It could be any any one of six or seven teams, and uh, just the way it is. But we will be guaranteed from the way it sits now uh, an opening playoff game, first game at the Shamrock Bowl back here behind us. Well, as as those brackets have changed five <laughs> times since Saturday morning. As somebody wow. puts in a score, this and that. So the reality of it is <clears throat> we don't know who we're going to play, so we're not gaining any advantage as to Scouting. going out and practicing against something and anticipate. Because it literally, as you mentioned, five or six, six different teams could end up being who we face. It could be somebody we've already played. Right now we are a two-seed. There are enough games we think out there. we got somebody trying to do all that math right now. There is still the possibility that we could jump the number one seed. We're the number two seed. There might be enough in there that we could end up still being the number one. And then again, that changes who all you play. So we don't know. But our emphasis this week is improving Dublin football, trying to get fresh trying to heal up some banged up injuries. We'll practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It'll be in t-shirt, shorts, and helmet. Good. Uh, but just trying to stay sharp and improve on some areas, obviously we know we've got to. Uh, if we are one or a two seed, which I think that's definitely Pretty where it's going to be. Uh, we would be through the playoffs as long as we can win. Each Friday night, the games would be at home through the semifinal round, and then if we were fortunate enough to get through that stage of it, then the last game obviously would be in the Mercedes-Benz on a Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Right. So we're we're going to go step by step. Well, it's week at a time, and right now uh, it's just get we, better Irish and, and we win next see where week. we are. If we win next Friday night here in the Shamrock Bowl, Bowl that guarantees us a the right to play another game in yes, the Shamrock sir. Bowl. If we win that game, we're guaranteed another the right to play another game at the Shamrock Bowl. We're going to go week by week. Week you, by week. We can't, we can't say, be looking at it. Everybody wants to look at the bracket, and, I, and right. I appreciate that. I want to look at it, you know. But at the end of the day, it's not there. So no football games here this week, but there's a lot of games going on across the state right. because of the hurricane week that will still affect how our bracket ends up. So – Enjoy it. Take a Friday night off, and let's get ready for the playoffs in Dublin. Right. Coach, we'll be back with some football. We have a lot to be thankful for during this Thanksgiving season here at Dublin Chevy GMC and we'd like to pass on those blessings to our customers with savings like these. 2024 Silverados and Sierras, starting at $45,995. BNS Industrial Contractors, your partner for success. Competent professionals and advanced equipment for any mechanical and construction work. Your trusted construction partner is BNS. From start to finish, locally owned and operated with over 50 years of managing experience. From large industrial and power generation facilities to crane rentals, BNS Industrial Contractors, capable of handling all project phases from design through startup and delivery. Contact BNS Industrial Contractors at 478-275-2128. 